Um, let's get, let's get King Hamsies versus I know. Where'd my, where'd my room? And just for the record, the allowed list of characters. Oh, there they both are. Is Honda, Makoto, Seth, Yun, Yang, Abel, Hakan, Zengi, Fuerte, Fei Long, T Hawk, and Hugo. Otherwise, every character with an unblockable ground to ground special move. I wonder what everyone's going to pick. I really don't think Young can prosper in this tournament. Who will walk away victorious? Someone's gonna miss the memo. Okay, these are two allowed characters. This is a third strike matchup. Training stage. Fight locale. Chosen. Let's get started! Makoto? Fight. I don't know if Makoto does that well versus Grapplers. Immediately off the top of my head, um, Hard Axe Kick is probably amazing versus Grapplers. And he just pulled it out right there, so it seems like he's got the same plan that I did. If I was playing Makoto. Hard Axe Kick should be safe against even SPDs. And it should also punish uh, grabs without being too unsafe. Ooh, that was punishable. Like, she can jump and then, like, hard axe kick and it not be as punishable as a command jump. Those jabs should have maybe gone into it towards towards jab. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Makoto is not that strong against Grapplers because she's got to take big risks. What the fuck was that? He could have done a Fukiyage. That would have been much better. I have a feeling he doesn't really... Oh. Turtle it out. I like that. He can win with just a medium kick at this point. King Hamsies didn't really do anything. He should have done a lot more claps, perhaps. Pick up the pace. Crouch, jab, clap, etc. Or he's like staying medium punch or stump, something. He's got like all these like... That was a punish, I think. He missed a reversal, but it probably still was a punish. Uh, be ready for combos. I saw the, the whiff. He's gonna come down with a jab into... What do you call it, Lariat? He's not doing like any claps, they're super safe. What's Makoto gonna do? She doesn't even have fucking meter right now. She can't even EX Orochi through them, which is like her only hope. I guess she can EX Command Grab through them too, and of course Ultra 1. But still, those are like basically reads she has to make. Oh my god. What the fuck? That was a kill combo! I know it's like being surprised by his own successful focuses. You should never you should never be surprised by your own success. You should be ready for the thing that you're doing to work, you know what I mean? He's doing really baby combos when he gets a focus crumple. Makoto can do like like Stan Fierce EX Fukiyage, she can do like Stan Fierce Hard Dash Punch, she can do Fukiyage, uh jump, cancel hard Tsuruji. She's got like a lot of high damage options off of a focus crumple that I know didn't pull out. The craziest and wildest fighters have assembled from around the world to join in the fight. But only one will be declared the best. Ugh. <sighs> Keep yawning. I'm gonna sit up. Training stage. Fists will fly at this location. Fei Long and Abel, we got a complete um, character toss around. Yeah, that actually shouldn't be allowed. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, that was weird. Don't we, don't we know, like, fucking Vermin rules? I wonder if both characters can change on a double KO. Yeah. We're not gonna DQ. I don't even think we're gonna give him the round. For the match, rather. I think we're just gonna restart. No, the tournament started. People have already started getting their games in now. If I change the bracket, it would throw up everything. It is on PC though. It's okay, the next one's on Thursday. You make me feel dumb on Makoto. Oh, because I was I was criticizing his Makoto play. Thank you for your T Hawk tech video. You're welcome. At the same time, I'm gonna play T Hawk at this tournament. I'm probably gonna get lit up, so That's a hella problem I have. A lot of people think that a lot of the videos I do like aren't good if I'm not like like well versed enough with the character. It's like a lot of the stuff is like stuff I observe in high, in top level play. In fact, all of it. Oh. That's not a combo. I hope it's not laggy for them. Sweet. What was that gonna bait? He should have held it longer, maybe got the bait for the uh um burn kick. That's punishable, I think. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Fei Long Scratch Jab punishes that. I don't remember VX dash punches on safe. I'm pretty sure it is. I I don't think it's like minus two or anything. Might be. Yeah, I finished the stream issue. I fixed the stream issues. It's Tony Hawk. It's a famous skateboarder. And the battle continues. I hope it's only laggy for me. I'd hate for them to be in this. He got the nice connect to Fukiyaga. I mean, not what do you call that? Tsurugi. Tsurugi? I forget. I think it's Surugi. T-Hizzle. That was a good Rekka, actually. By some miracle. King Hamseys isn't hit confirming his Rekkas, though. I guess he doesn't play this character that much. That was an interesting juggle. He could have juggled anything there. Super would have been kind of cool, I guess. I don't know if it would have juggled properly. I would have juggled with the brain kick if it was me. Just because my natural instinct. Dashing towards me and kick from close. He didn't react to the burn kick there. That could have been a really big punish. It's always a shame when that happens. Ooh. Gotta be watching for that all the time when fighting Makoto. EX Fukiyaga does more damage than EX Dash Punch now. Anti air. Decent focus from both sides, I guess. I like that little block string. It's kind of cool. Makoto has to really work for her block strings. That was nice. That was burn kick juggle too. Hard burn kick only though, because it'll have one focus. And that's juggle one state instead of juggle zero. Got the link into ultra. Seiji Sengoransky. Got the meter build. I never see players do that. It looks like you still maintain the Oki. No cancel at all. 
A red focus. Errant red focus. Makoto has to work for her block strings, except that one. Alright, these two are out of here. I know took it. Right? You won too, right? Yeah. Hamsi's won the middle one. So, let's report that. I know it's my opponent. Interesting. Might get him in the Makoto mirror, depending on how things go. Who's not playing right this second? Can I get a show of hands who just finished their match? I gotta remember to knock Izzo down. Scrub Styles got the immediate advance. So I guess we could do Lunatic Soul versus Scrub Styles. Sephric's not playing, but he doesn't have an opponent yet. Zelius is here. Who's his opponent? Um, have you played? Has he played Nova yet? Uh, they still haven't played, so that's fine. This is still a first round match then. Power of the Nova Force! This is the right matchup, isn't it? Zelius versus Nova? Yeah. Scrub Styles versus Lunatic Soul would have been a good match. It also would have been a laggy match. I have to get my match in before too long, too. From around the world to join in the fight. And only one will be declared the best. Hug you. Versus Fuerte. Interesting matchup, interesting. This is probably real scary for Fuerte. I don't think it's a bad matchup, I just think it's scary. Masked Nobleman. That's good. That's good on Fuerte. That is a repulsive color. That was nice. That was not whip punish. You could have gotten punished for it. El Fuerte's sweep looks quite a lot like his run, uh, roundhouse. The run roundhouse has dramatically more range and comes out a lot faster. You can tell them apart easily because one you can only do from run, and the other one you can't do from run. But um. The roundhouse, the crouch roundhouse is super safe. It's like minus one, I think. So it's like a pretty good move. This is actually Ultra 2 Hugo. It's kind of a late jump. I think if that was closer, he would have gotten hit. It was just out of range entirely. That was missing a lot of punishes. And Zealous is having trouble even getting in. What the fuck are you doing? It worked too. I like how we got the armor rig special effect. Is uh, Stan Fierce armor. Stan Fierce has a pretty good response to focus, I guess. Unless they charge to level 3. I like all the jumping, really. But he needs to be careful not to eat an Ultra 2. That was cool. That might have been an OS for all I know. Why that? I think it's still punished, though. That was a waste of meter, though. Why didn't you just chase him down with like a medium lariat? It might have been supposed to be an EX Lariat, but that was still like a waste of meter. He had a decent amount of time to punish that. He could have just jumped in and done Stan Fierce, I think. I mean, jump Fierce. Uh, he could have comboed a jab there, but I think he was too far for any combo besides that. But the jab would have been fine. Uh, that move is pretty unsafe. Nevis miss- whoa! He was big. Nevis missing a lot of whiff punishes, but... He got Fuerte's whiff punishing without Quesadilla Bomb is kind of bad. But he should be he should be sitting on a quesadilla bomb, I feel like. I feel like he should be holding roundhouse or whatever. And just like watching for the the whiff. Um 
like down for your assistant down my house as Elias is doing. Then just release on them. And also, he should ultra 2 jump in for Christ's sake. You get on the MLG Baf team by adding Baf to your username. It's not very hard. It started as a joke, but now there's like a decent number of people with Baf in their username. I mean, it's still a joke. Oh, he wanted Ultra 1. Ultra 2 was still good. Oh, he said I missed one Ultra. I'm dyslexic. Ultra 2 is arguably better in this matchup, I think. It's a totally achievable dream to win a BAF Cup. That's the glory of the, tur the tournament. Eventually, I might need to separate it into a bath cup upper and a bath cup lower, though. This is a matchup I might genuinely think to be bad. I'm not sure, though. South America. Oh yeah, you can add, you can be Team Bath if you beat me. Win my tournament or beat me. The battle has begun. Let's get back to Ash, terrible punish. Those are both whiff punishes, so I can't complain. They could have been a bit stronger. A little strong dash punch or something. Could have been alright. That was a very high connect. Very slow reaction. That was a punish. Uh, a lot of these things are really unsafe. A little strong EX Fukiyage would be nice. On reaction to one of those. The strongest pretty good whip punishing tool for Makoto. That was a really bad crush meeting kick. He's alive though. Mm, not anymore. And the battle continues. Fight! Oh, that could have been two claps. You can juggle a clap into another clap. You got a really high connect. It would have worked. Ugh, that hurts. Kind of bizarre bait. I stand strong. Probably went for it, missed it. No, he did the back dash forward dash. That's the setup. I invented that one. Oh god. Oh, that was good. That's the. He missed the uppercut at the end, though. The EX, um. Oh my god. Oh my god, that throw attack was so scary. Yeah. Should have been EX Orochi. Or Nova. Sephric excellently reported his opponent winning classic Sephric. Who the fuck is Seth Rising T. Killian? Who is that? I gotta get my game in. I'm against Dino. He's not readying. It's him and me. Okay. The world's fiercest fighters await. Will you be the last warrior standing? Ah. Unknown. Crumbling laboratory. Fight locale. Chosen. Oh, Chopa is... Chopa is... Uh, Seth Killian. How long will this go on? I don't like this outfit. But I always wear it. 
I'm gonna die for that. Oh shit. Uh. <gasps> you got me! I don't know why I did that link anyway, it's not even a link I don't think. I have the tides of battle pairing. Should've just cancelled it, why the fuck wouldn't I? Oh, this is not good. Alright, I got him. Good old stand strong. That's the best button in the game, real talk. And the battle continues. Fight! How long will this go on? Shit. The fight is underway. Two fucking throw attacks. Got me. Curious. All the things to go for. I'm fearless. Yeah. I shouldn't be fearless. Probably should have ulted there. <gasps> that was a that was a dash punch. I promise. I rolled. I fucked my motion up pretty bad though. But I had the plan to do it, and that's the important thing. Saying strong light dash punch. That was my combo. You can actually do a strong dash punch, but I don't know. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Ooh, that red looks nice. A little brick red. Changing colors. Important. Alright, there's an able. This is gonna be different. Unknown. Force jab punishes change of direction, but I don't know if it punishes ma mass change of direction. Are you ready? This outfit is ugly. I'm here. I'm back. Oh shit, take the throw. I was in chase mode. Oh, I got me. <laughs> it was a bit telegraphed, wasn't it? Oh, I missed. Whoa. I think I should have killed with a normal combo. I think I didn't need to use the ultimate kill. Eh, it looks kind of close. Interesting. I could have died there. I kind of. Ugh, a bit slow. That was interesting. Mm, I've been dropping that a lot. Ah, got it. Alright. Sephiroth is apparently doing well in this tournament. Intimidating. Let's check out what Chopa's, what's all going down here? Chopa's supposed to be fighting Space Kami. That hasn't happened yet? What the fuck? Let's get him in here. Oh, I thought you won too. It was only the Hinta Cruelty match? Oh, was Sephrica by? 
Oh yeah. That explains it. The curtain is raised on the world's most extreme fighting tournament. Who will walk away victorious? Hey, where is this though? He like sent me a message. Yeah, what we got here. Space Kami playing a character he actually plays. Giving him an, an immediate advantage. I am the Red Cyclone. And um, his opponent playing the fattest counterpick to that character in the game. Let's get started. This could really go either way, I have no idea. It's gonna come down to player skill, probably. Uh, that was probably supposed to be a hard uppercut. And now he's in danger. I probably should have been jumped back into a wall jump. Interesting. Just the punish. That's kind of important. That uppercut. Eee, stand run house. Okay, now I'm kind of thinking that close fears. Okay, like like really, that uppercut is kind of important. This matchup is a lot harder if you can't uppercut as you jump. So CX uppercut is like a reliable answer to like even a long range D hawk jump or Geef jump. Okay, there it is. There you go. Trippin' knows. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, focus backdash is a decent way out there. Teleport would have been a bit better. But what he did was good. If that was a regular jump in, that would have been better. That was a nice uppercut. He's got it now. He's fucking figured it out. Whatever was going on earlier is no longer happening. You gotta watch yourself when CS Ultra 2, though. Got an anti with like Crutch Fierce and stuff. Anti with the EX uppercut, maybe. He's giving up more ground than he needs to. He should be chasing in fireballs. Throw a fireball and then walk in after it. That was kind of cool. He's still risking eating an Ultra 2. There it is. EX uppercut? Yeah. He happened to do it right there. That was smart. EX uppercut beats Ultra 2. EX uppercut for Seth has a lot of invincibility. You gotta be real smart about that. That's pretty much where all of Seth's meters should go, I feel like. Alright, Chopa didn't look very good the first round, but second round he looked amazing. So now I'm kind of thinking like this could totally go either way. Could have been Sam Fierce for a punish. Instead he just threw a fireball. I don't really like the EX fireball. I don't think EX fireball for Seth is that good. You can't Lariat in this matchup. I've actually seen the first, like the Lariat counter hit to Stan Fierce from full screen. It's pretty funny when it happens. Because the Lariat, the hitbox goes all the way right down on the first frame. First active frame. That ended up working pretty well for him. See how the Stan Fierce hit and forced the Lariat to end and then the Fireball immediately hit? It's kind of cool. Alright, I like that EX Fireball. Oh, that should've been it! Stan Fierce? Okay. Chopa demonstrating uh, competency in the matchup. That matchup looks real hard for Geef when Geef's far away. I guarantee you Seth Seth is not the silliest mirror in the game. Space Kami going in, same matchup. He likes it, he thinks he can do it. I think the silliest matchup in the game... Oh man, that's actually really hard. It's definitely a mirror. The silliest matchup in the game is definitively a mirror. Forte mirrors aren't that dumb. It just looks like one Forte at any given time. And he'll switch off which one is which. That was a punish. Can't do that kind of lariat. 
I think you can spin up that dive kick, it's real high. Maybe not. It might still be plus. Ugh, very slow button press, he didn't even hit a button. Very safe wake up. You can teleport with um, very low risk of Seth in this matchup. It's quite hard for Geef to catch a teleport. That could have been left forward, uh, Gyaku. That might work! Yep, that was a good one. You can steer Ultra 2 after animation, and it, the hitbox does indeed go behind him. Um, but it also carries the momentum of his jump quite a lot. Space Commies almost completely turned this one around. He should be looking for an EX hand. That low profile! That actually worked. I'm surprised. If Space Commie did a jump forward instead of a jump fierce, um, he probably would have hit Seth before that he could get to low profile frames. He has to be real smart about his air normals. He's got a bunch of really good ones. I don't think that red focus was intentional. You take bonus damage for red focusing to give you more ultra meter, which also makes it really bad if you eat, uh, if you lose white health after red focus. That's gonna work too. This is gonna almost even it up. Teleport is quite good in this matchup. It's not a true grab place tournament, didn't you just see Makoto? So anyone with a command grab tournament. God, Seth's gotten hit like three times. Ugh, Stan Fierce is really picky there. You gotta use Stan uh, Strong or Stan Roundhouse. He should be able to land, yeah. He actually could have landed and done EX Green Hand, but that would have been very precise, and if he messed it up, he would have eaten an Ultra. So very understandable. Ground special move. I like that, even though it was unsafe. Actually, no, he should have died. I don't like that. The punish would have killed. If the punish didn't kill, I would have liked it. Uh, Landy X hand would be really good there. Oh, it still worked. That's, I thought that was too far. The first one, the first land EX hand would have been nice. That's a big punish. This is going to do like fucking a quarter of his health. This is going to do another quarter. That's another quarter. <laughs> What's happening, Chopa? Did you give up? What the fuck was that? It's absolutely not... Um, you can absolutely make that comeback as Seth. 25% versus uh, 100%. That's a comeback Seth can make. It's that kind of matchup where comebacks are very possible for Seth. A lot of matchups, that kind of comeback isn't possible even if it's slanted one way or the other. It's not even about tier, it's just about the way that the characters interact. Seth can run away for that long and actually has the damage output to evenize it. Chopa's AFK. He might have actually put the controller down. He said, hold on. Wow, thanks, Efric. That'd be a good way to save it. If you lost that bad, and then you, like, pretended you went AFK. I'm just fucking around. He might have actually been AFK. I'm not gonna, like, pull that one, though. That was fair and square. He didn't alert either of us that he was... He needed to leave. Space Kami got scared. Needs more EX hand. Mm -hmm. 
How do I always manage to close the chat room? Alright, Chopa should be back. Oh, his, his stick DC'd. Dang, that sucks. Oh, Lunatic Soul fucking... Lunatic Soul has to bounce. Show me everything you have to Are you ready? Fight! <laughs> that Seth color, it's pretty. Nice golden matchup right now. I don't think I've ever seen that Seth. This is almost dizzy. That should have been a green hand. Even regular green hand would have been good there. Seth's dizzy threshold is pretty low. It's 900, I think. That looks pretty Sethish. Should have been jump strong instead of jump us, maybe. Ugh, backdash? Are you kidding me? You're supposed to punish that. We could have done like, um, stand for your fireball F ADC or something. That's not, that's way too late. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Why the fuck does Seth's fireballs not have juggle potential on EX? That's retarded. So like they did everything in their power to make Seth's EX fireball shitty. On some characters you can actually do EX fireball onto Ultra 1, like as a cancel. Like Stand Fierce EX fireball Ultra 1, and that's pretty cool. Dude, the healing spam was amazing. As someone who plays Elena versus Chun Li a lot, that's literally the only way that Elena can compete with Chun Li, and it's like a five-five even considering that. Chun Li is a really interesting counter pick for Elena. That was a very technical matchup played very correctly. I'm not here to talk about Eva though. He's not jumping off the wall very much, but that's understandable when uh, Geef has Ultra 2. I definitely would have used that uppercut to escape the corner. What the fuck was that? Ugh, that was such a bad teleport. He wasn't that close to the corner, he didn't need to do that. Good autocorrect. Geef can do a very specific jump to fuck up Seth's autocorrects. Geef can, like, land basically on Seth's head and he can't uppercut it. I think? I don't know. Seth is a weird case. He can do that with most characters. But, um... Wait, is that it? That's it, right? Yeah. Um... Seth has a uh, hitbox on both sides with his EX uppercut, so he might be able to, to get it. Actually, we want to keep him in. He's the next one. Let's get him back. I don't think he was using too many fireballs. It's impossible for Chun-Li... It's impossible for Chun-Li to prevent Elena from absorbing fireballs, but spamming fireballs is still better than not spamming them. Can I eat a sandwich? No. that comes with being declared the world's greatest fighter. Fuck was that? South America. 
cosmic elevator. Missiles will fly at this location. The battle has begun. Fight! I haven't liked nearly anyone's analysis of game review versus uh, infiltration. I feel like they're almost always incorrect. Everyone's always old, oh, dude. Look how much I did. What is Hugo's damage on his SPD? Is it 230 on hard SPD? Like 250 or something? Probably 230, right? Oh, dude. Look at that. It did over half his health. No, why Ultra 2? Of all the things to do, why didn't you just fucking hold up forward? That might kill. That's not gonna chip out. Why yeah, stand jab. That was ridiculous. Stand short. Okay. I don't see this Street Fighter 4 would never not be a main game at EVO. Would ever not. Street Fighter 4 will still remain as good as it is now, fucking after Street Fighter 5 comes out. And there's still gonna be hella players. Different people will dominate Street Fighter 4 than Street Fighter 5. Or rather, a lot of the people who are good at one will be good at the other, but it won't be the exact same list of pros. So There'll be people who prefer Street Fighter 4 no matter how Street Fighter 5 is. I guarantee it. It all comes down to this. Fight! That does so much. What the fuck wake up was that? I ended up working out for him, but that's a really bad wake up option. It has no invincibility. Except the fireballs, which Hugo doesn't have. And it's two bars. Probably an accident of some variety, but I can't even imagine what he did to get that kind of input. Interesting. The damage output is just impossible to keep up with for Chopa. He needs a lot more successful connects for every one that um, Hugo gets. I'm pretty sure that Seth can make uh, Hugo's life hell with just fireballs and sand fears. Kappa, no Kappa. I actually really like lane play. It's survival of the fittest. That's like not even spring green plump. That's like forest green. Spring green's the tone above that one. It's the one that's really unpleasant on the eyes, which is why it's hilarious. The stage of battle is set. Let's get wow, this is fuck. Spring green. Was this intentional? Did they organize this? Should I put going behind the scenes telling everyone to pick the same color? Oh, did they nerf chat colors? Dang, I didn't know that. I didn't, know, I didn't realize that Spring Green isn't even there anymore. Tank Cognito. Call the combo. I really like that Hugo. That color. Alright, good combo. Missed the focus attack. That was kind of bad. That was supposed to be... Ooh, that's... I think that was guaranteed. I can't think of anything Hugo could do to escape that. Um... Oof. That was probably too far to even combo a stand jab, though. It was counter hit, though, so he might have been able to get, like, a stand strong. It was a light clap. I don't think you can normally do that. That is the Riddler. Oh, I didn't even notice. Ooh, that was a read. 
Alright, there's the combo. I missed that last time. Go to focus release on accident. He needs to just block one of those. Come on, that's unsafe on block. Got him. Counter hit, but counter hit, there's no extra damage here, I think. This should be Chopa's game unless he really screws up. Nah, it could go either way still. He does a lot of damage. Get him? Nope. <gasps> oh, that was so scary. That was a bad drop. It's like, I think he rolled the wrong way or something. He didn't know which side he landed on. There's a really stupid option select for that. You don't do it in this game because it's not relevant, but like in other games I've played, that's like a real thing. Is you do, like, let's say I'm Seth, I do stand fierce, and then I do quarter circle one way, and I do, like, like hard kick plus medium punch. And I either get stand fierce cancelled into a fireball if he goes lands on one side, or stand fierce cancelled into a Hyakuretsu Kyako if he lands on the other side. It's a really dumb option select if you don't know which side you're going to land on. But um, fortunately, that's like never ever relevant in Street Fighter 4. It's survival of the fittest on a global scale. This is an example. You could do hard punch and hard kick, I guess. You wouldn't be able to do medium punch and medium kick. Yeah, where is it though? It's actually been like 30 minutes longer than he said he would take. Many things change, but the scrub never changes. Your destiny will be determined here. Are you ready? Fight! That was nice, there's a punish. Ooh. <laughs> Stay around us. Which video is this? Listening to two fighting game players, I've never heard of that. Might watch it. The jabs. That was pretty fast. Is this Chopa's new epic strat? Yeah, I was gonna say. It's really vulnerable to like a running bear. Or that. Chopa should like throw fireballs, I think. It's not that bad. Hugo doesn't have like a- that was a failed empty cancel. I saw that. Is this just having PC problems DQ me? I'm glad I didn't delay the tournament for him, that would've been shit. Okay. I think he should escape the corner right now. Jump off the wall maybe? That was- I don't like that decision. Hugo wins! Elias won, right? I think Elias won. Yeah. Gotta throw out some boots. How's losers going? Jesus Christ, this better not actually be losers. Losers is a mess. We've got to get it at the losers round four. Alright, Nova Force and Space Kami better be playing. No. Why didn't you play? I gotta get all those matches going on, like, now. The 
fuck is Nova? Everyone in Losers needs to get their games on. Oh shit, Lunatic spot. That's right, Lunatic Soul left. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've got to reopen that one and push Hamzies along. Aha Khan. Healing is nowhere near as dumb as I feel like people think it is. Healing? Guaranteed healing is almost a non-factor. And uh, short healing is not a game changer. Unless you're trying to punish it and getting punished yourself. I mean, short healing is nice, but it's not, not any more of a game changer than most ultras. Healing is definitely not the most broken part of Lana, not even close. The biggest problem with Elena is that people don't realize, like, two heals is like 200 health. You do more damage with an ultra. And it's if it's two half heals, it's like fucking 100 health. It's like 150. That's good. It's gonna kill. People don't realize... They, they play into, like, healing setups, and they don't realize, like... That it's not as good as they think it is. Looks like and the battle continues. Fight! My strong point is her high-low mix up. Her reach is nice though. It's not as good as you would think. It's not as good as like Vega. But it is better than most characters. But like her pokes that go really far is like like her sweep and her slide. Fuck, I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. I can't. That was like a backdash saying strong or something. Or forward strong. Oof, that was unsafe. The con I actually feel like is pretty good in this matchup. Was that Sam Roundhouse? You never see that normal. Stand short. He didn't have a. He didn't have armor, so that wasn't like a Crisco stand for. Funny. It's making me want to play Hakan. Ken's in my top five, but I don't think he's in anyone else's top five. Is the audio supposed to be off? Everyone else can hear me, right? The world's fiercest fighters await. Oh, the game music. Yeah, I just turn it off. Goken top 10? I don't even think Goken's top half. The stage of battle is set. Hi, winning Twitch. The battle has begun. Fight! So in this matchup, you can do kind of a cool anti-air versus most, or I should say most characters, you can do a kind of cool anti-air with anti-air focus, dash in, stand jab or stand short or something like that. Because you can... You can dash and get the stand short off before they'd be able to throw you, but you can still armor absorb their jump ins, and if you armor through something, you'll actually punish the jump in. But um, it's kind of scary versus Beef and his SPD. You 
You can do it through pokes and stuff too, but... Heap is actually not as pokey as you would think. So it's just like stand short, empty cancel. The chances of you successfully punishing... Whoa! Oh, I got a backdash. That was nice. He could have even done it sooner. But you can cancel the backdash into a towards strong and then cancel the towards strong. Oily Hakan is interesting. You can cancel forward and backdashes into normals. Uh, he was too slow. That should have been free. That was a minus one. It's a kind of squid or a kid. That was nice. The forward dash resolves very quickly, and the um, SPDs have a built in Kara when he's oily. So you can really surprise someone by whiffing it towards strong and then SPDing or uh, dashing in and SPDing. Ugh, but when you're not oily, the range is kind of bad. It's like the same range as most normal foes. Get that oil. I get some more. Come on. That was. I'm pretty sure that's unsafe, but he keeps missing it. I'll get you the list of the allowed characters in a second. That's nice. Dizzy's like not a factor anymore though. Please SPD that. Please. Okay, he punished him with jabs. Oh god, oh god, oh god, we're missing it. Oh god, oh god, there's a guy who needs a ban. If only I could have told my mods to do that. I might do the Hakan tutorial next. A couple of people have been requesting it. Maybe the same guy multiple times. It's a weird punishes he's going for. I would call it an essential skill of grappler players to be able to get reversal SPDs. That's like one of the big weapons they have, is they can punish moves that aren't conventionally unsafe. Such as overheads and stuff. I think that Space Kami might think that those are safe. I think he knows they're unsafe, because he's consistently trying to get punishes and stuff. But he's like mixing it up more, now. You can make the slide safe, but it's really difficult. You have to hit like the very tail end of it to make it plus frames. It's usually like minus 10. Or worse. I don't remember. Yeah, we should redo the, one, the guy one, because it was with dirt. So Nova's staying up, and good that he's staying in here, because he's going against Tenta Cruelty. That lemon guy from Adventure Time. Oh wait, is it Nova? No, hold on. Wasn't it Space Kami who won? Did I fuck that up? Or was it Nova? It was Nova. I fucked that up in my head. It was Hakan. Nova was playing Hakan. Space Kami only plays Skeef. Is Lemon grab an emote? I don't have better Twitch. I just, I don't know dude, I just got distracted, that's hard. I'm ready for it's the battle of the century. Fight. Better Twitch TV is AIDS, but at the same time, I can make a sad frog. And that's all I've ever wanted with my emotes. Khan's kinda scary in this matchup. You wouldn't think so. I think Seth does win it. But there's a lot of stuff Seth can't do. That was a really bad reversal, and I think that was a mistimed ED. Oh, he misses confirm. Crouch jab, crouch jab is two frames for Hakan, I think. And uh, stand short, stand short is also two frames. Those are his two confirms he can use. 
And then you can link into a towards shorter, a crouch jab, and then cancel to slide. That's probably not gonna hit. Oh no, it hit. I wasn't sure. Akan's EX slide goes through fireballs, but I guess by hitbox and not by invincibility. Good jump. Seth can't really use Stain Fierce that well in this matchup because if Hakan absorbs it, he gets like really reliable punishes since he can cancel his forward dash. And it's not too risky for Hakan to just kind of throw out focus because he can just cancel the recovery into jabs anytime he wants to. So it's like not that bad. Reversal. That's like Hakan's closest thing to a reversal. I feel like Nova keeps on screwing up the um, uh, DP plus kick oil. I keep on seeing him get like board short and stuff. Sloppy, sloppy. Since jump strong, that just let him jump off the wall. Ah, oh, what kind of reversal, Fenta Cruelty? Is that a failed teleport? That's the second time that's happened. That can't be on purpose. Reversal pull is really bad. There might be a bath party after the cup. I found out that I have tomorrow off too. It's Wednesday that I have to go in. And then I have Thursday off and then I got a 9 hour shift on Friday. I got so many days off this week. It's because of that 9 hour shift, but like I'm only 20 hour week. So it was like one day I'm doing half my half my hours in the week. Get burritos? Yo, I like that idea. You 100% sold me. I was like only partially on the idea of a bath cup. Of a bath after party. Oh, yeah. An after bath will probably happen too. Chipotle sounds hella good though. I'm ready for. Are you ready? Oh, that combo dropped. <laughs> Careful attempt to cruelty. He was talking about that before the tournament. He said he kept on getting stage jet or er, crouch jab, crouch short to whip, uh, not combo. How do you enter these? You wait until the relevant day that it happens and then you sign up for the challenge that's posted on my Twitter and YouTube. Stay fierce that, don't just let him do it. If you hit Hakan out of his oil, even after, like even at the tail end of the animation, he only gets half duration oil. Seth has a full screen button. The real thing that really sells Seth in this matchup is that his jump in mix up is really solid. But Hakan can actually bypass that with his ultra. Which I think he just tried to do there. Please. Punish the oil. Yo, that one. That was interesting. After Beth, where I ban anyone who doesn't use Forte. Forte Mirror isn't that bad. It looks a bit silly when they're both running around, but it's like, it's actually like Forte versus anyone else. Except those two Fortes. Interesting. That was a failed mash. He got the last hit. It's always nice when you get the last hit. It doesn't always happen. That's a punish. <laughs> the coward crouch. That's cruelty dropping links. Ugh. Interesting. Yeah, that was a back that should have been a sick bait. That was probably an ultra. He did a little bit of wiggling in a stand round house. You know, in that very first match, we saw him anti here with a stand round house, and now thinking back, that was probably an ultra. Never Force needs to work on his motions. Oh. 
got to be real careful when whipping things against either of these characters because they both have good full screen punishes. That was good. You can get out of that with a reversal crutch normal or a teleport or any reversal. Just got to be watching for it. It's a meaty setup though. There's one frame where you're forced to stand before you crouch for most characters. And in that one frame you can't get out of that by blocking. Or by ducking rather. Since it's unblockable. You could have done jump back for your something maybe there. I don't know. There's no good. I don't think there's a good normal to hit that. He's holding it really long to help him time it, but it's also telegraphing it a lot. Tentacruel, he could have easily uppercutted those. He should have been watching for it more. A teleport would get out too. But teleporting is actually kind of hard to do against Sakan, because unlike other grapplers, Sakan has a full screen presence. Kind of a unique little thing about him. Did that get reopened or did I never report it? Um, Seth Rising T Killian and Ducky. Did that ever happen? That better have happened. Oh, he was going for the reversals every time. Tentacruelty saying he was just fucking him up. That's a shame. We're gonna keep Nova on, it's the Nova Gauntlet. Unfortunately, everyone else, like, like. And let's just go in a winner's bracket. Nova can do his own game against Hamzies. Fuck you, Nova. Let's do Sephric's game. I'm tired of watching the same people. And Scrub Styles. Advance me or who's playing, says I know. Come on, the challenge is in the description. We don't know his opponent yet. The craziest and wildest fighters have assembled from around the world to join in the fight. But only one will be declared the best. I like these picks. Sefric's been working on his able. I think. He pulls it out every now and then. It seems like the kind of character he wants to fucking work on. Sefric has no title or icon. It's the battle of the century! Fight! How long will this go on? This character selection is kind of fun, because we've actually seen a good variety of characters, even considering the incredible restraints, and considering the resulting metagame probably isn't that balanced. I have no perceptions about how these two characters fight, but I imagine it's in Honda's favor. No accurate. Oh god. I think has to jump first, maybe? I don't know if he had time. That was good. Jump back fierce. Yo, I liked it. It's here, stand fierce. I think Honda can kind of get away with headbutts to some degree in this matchup. Scrub Styles actually plays Honda. How do you think a balance will go? I think even if the balance is not perfect, I'll probably make it good with rebalances. I imagine the initial release will probably not be perfect. It will probably be the worst ever release, balance wise. Counter hit combo, he got the full thing. I feel like Honda's one of the characters who has an edge. I feel like Honda's good versus most grapplers. I feel like Seth has an edge. Honda I normally think sucks, but I feel like he's good against grapplers. So I actually like uh, Scrub Styles for um, being a Honda player in this tournament with like a good amount of skill. I don't think Yun is good in this meta at all. Yun's a good character, but Yun is not fight grapplers as well. And Honda's a bad character, but Honda fights grapplers quite well. I think Faye's pretty strong. Faye fights most grapplers alright. Yo, that was good. That was death or life right there.
that was a very important EX headbutt. Sephric, uh, I don't blame him for going for that, but it ended up being the wrong thing. I wonder if there's some arbitrary rule that makes Street Fighter 4 into a much like better game. Not something like No Grapplers, but you know, something like No Grapplers. I don't know why Sephiroth didn't do this immediately. Maybe he doesn't know that Scrub Styles plays Honda. This is a fat counter pick. This is like a 7-3. Headbutts are impossible in this matchup. Phelan can just punish them with um, Rekka's every single time. Every version. All ranges. Um, he can also anti-air the uh, stomp pretty easily with his close fierce or burn kick. Uh, you, the EX one you punish differently, I think, actually. I think I was just stand jab. I don't remember, actually. Okay, now I'm not so sure about um, EX. Ultra Double only is the one I've done the most, and I actually really like it. Ultra Double, I feel like, makes a really cool game out of Street Fighter 4. Oh, Fuzzy Afro agrees that Able Honda is really bad for Able. I was saying I thought it would be. Izzo actually could be... Could go back into the tournament, maybe. Didn't hit confirm the Rekka. Scrub Styles is doing a lot of nervous jumps in the corner. Oh, where's the X headbutt? The light headbutt, anything. You can headbutt chip him now. Headbutts are pretty good right now. Where were the light headbutts? There's no mix up there, is there? It's unblockable. It's a true anti air. I do Nito formats every now and then for Bef Cups. I'll check out the bracket in a second once this is over. Oh, I should have been crushed jab into Rekos or something. I don't think he was close enough for a close normal after that neutral jump. Counter hit. I think he still can't come out of it. Yo, that whiff punish was nice. No fireballs doesn't change that much. Most characters aren't changed at all. And people just don't pick the characters that fucking... Good jump strong. I feel like the best version of almost every character is the Omega version. Omega characters can do some really strong stuff. Oh, a little early. That was a very nice meaty overhead. But it wasn't nice because he was too early. But yeah, this is the grappler. Anyone with command grab is okay. There has been less grappling than you would think. They fixed Omega again and Omega Buki and Omega Viper. They fixed every infinite. Every known infinite. Uh, this might be it for Sephiroth. Yep. Sephiroth's down to losers. I'm up against Scrub Styles if I win my next match. That's scary. But I've got to go through Zelius, and that's not going to be easy. Did that already get reported, that one? Where was Izzo? Yeah, he got knocked down way long ago. There's no way I can bring him back in. Chopa is... Hold on, let's see where Chopa is. Let's get that one. Let's figure that out. Oh, I think the freezing with Ibuki's air grab is still present. 
The Buki did have an infinite though, and they did patch it. I'm gonna get my match in with Zelius. He's got like a tag. There he is. I'm sorry, Izzo, you'll just have to make a killing at the afterbath. Where the fuck is Elias? There he is. Who will bask in the glory and adoration that comes with the Tony. Players, the Don't fail me now. Wait, how far along is that? Did he be Dino? Where the fuck is he? I lost him. God damn it. I'm gonna pick Ultra One. Where's chat? There we go. The bloodbath? Yo, I kind of like that. Oh, look at that whiff punish. Is that a whiff punish? I tried hard. He got me. I did like as much damage as I did. Dang. What just happened? Oh, I know what happened. That was pretty crazy that he did that. Tell me. That was a jump and he cancelled it to an SPD, I think. Either that or I was just out of range. Dead. If I jumped again there, I would have won. That's weird to think about. I just missed reversal. What's he do there? He must have something towards Fierce, maybe. Yeah, he just did it, just fucking like experimentally. Hmm. SPDs are not unthrowable. Say that with great certainty. Alright, cool. It all comes down to this. Fight! And there's the first hit. What's next? Ah, look at that. That's cheap. Uh. Oh god, my alarm. Alright, cool, I cancelled it. Yeah, that's a fuzzy combo. Oh. Did I really screw that up? Uh, that went pretty well. We'll see if I can keep it going for another match. Tony, you feel like it's pretty strong here. There's one thing that's bad for Tony in this matchup. Is I don't think he has a punish for a uh, light lariat from space sufficiently spaced. I think that's a problem. I don't remember. I think there's something like that. Oh, I played that trade. Is that a 
crouch around my house or something. That was a reversal. Wasn't a combo from that range. <gasps> that is not an SPD. Oh, I got auto correct. That ultra that uppercut is so slow that an auto correct doesn't even necess necessarily mean I'll hit him before he lands. No. That one's really good in this matchup. Stermon House goes further back now, which prevents things like that. Ah, oh, I got me. Should have body press. That's not really a good trade. Why didn't I ultra? Why would I super instead of ultraing? Do less damage and fucking... All I need is to stand strong, so the things are pretty good right now. Hmm, I just wanted to trade. Oh, I got him. The Hawks folks are real strong against other grapplers. Um, actually my last video was about Fuzzy Guard, so you could go watch that. Let me find you a link.